Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to do another flower and I'm just using the white and it's the Angel White Pigment Paste from Lores, which I received from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm actually adding to my white um, the scent color from Miss Colorberry. I show you there. It's a wonderful creamish color. And I tried it before, but I used different resin. So I have back, I have for this pour, my, my and I put this in brackets, my B20 resin from Dippon. It's actually the last um, resin I have from Dippon. I need to order some new. And I mix my color and I'm sorry that my um, picture is a little bit blurred, but uh, my camera didn't fi film correctly. So I hope you forgive me. It will um, be back to normal later. So I'm putting some of the praline um, resining into my center and it's from Stefanie Etta. And I'm now pouring my creamish white color and I'm only gonna go in circles. The mold I'm using is the 15 centimeter disc mold from Molds and Shapes. I really love these molds. Um, they have fantastic molds so if you're interested in their molds please check out my description box and if you use the promo code PT5 you get 5% discount on every purchase order. So I'm going in circles as you see and then I'm just taking my little tool stick and I'm drawing my petals. By the way I was doubting if I should upload a movie or not because um, yeah there's this war going on in Ukraine and I'm very shocked about it. I have friends over there and I'm actually very, very concerned. Anyway, I'm drawing my petals. And first I went from outside in and now from inside out. Yeah, um, again, I'm very sorry about the picture, but <laughs> my camera just didn't focus proper. And while I'm pouring, I don't see it really. But there you go. <laughs> so now I'm just giving my center a little swirl, so it gives it a little bit more interest. And this is the close up and you can see it now clearly. And I'm really hoping that my petals will close. But this is only shortly after my pour. So this is the next day and you see how the petals closed up. I'm very happy about it. And I'm now gonna go for my back layer. And I just want to go in similar colors. So I'm pouring now the clear into my center. This time for this effect I'm using the Art Pro Resin from the Resin Pro Company and yeah because I really don't have anything left of the B20 at the moment and I'm mixing some colors yeah I'm a little bit off center I'm sorry but I'm mixing my brown the brown is also from the carrot box from Miss Colorberry and again I'm using the sand color Yeah, I'm giving it a very good stir so that the micas are not coming up. Just a quick torch and I start pouring with the brown. And on top the sand color, 
just going in puddles like I did with one of my previous videos. But I wanted to do um, this also in a different color. So I hope you don't mind me doing this again. But I just thought I'd try this again with different colors. Again, the brown, some clear. And my mold is still not full, so quick torch. Please always be careful using the torch, not to burn your resin, not to burn your mold. And again, the sand color and some clear. So I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. And another 24 hours later and time for demolding. I'm very curious how it's going to turn out. I like the blending on that side. It has not really got the crackle effect, but um, I just want that the colors are giving a nice background to the flower. So let's have a look. And there you go. I must admit, the f um, yeah, there are some, I would not call them blobs. It has a really proper 3D effect and you can really, um, it has the feeling that the flowers is just starting to bloom. Okay, I love and leave you and thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye bye.